Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. If you are new, then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel I share ideas, insight, tools and tactics. So if you want to grow uh, really fast in the software industry, then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any updates. Akriti Chopra. Hi Akriti. Is cloud computing or DevOps the right career for freshers? Uh, both cloud computing and DevOps are the right uh, career choice for freshers. Okay. And when you talk about DevOps, DevOps is one part of cloud computing. Okay. Today, cloud computing is possible because of DevOps. What is DevOps? DevOps is uh, development in operations. Okay, so to make a software, there is a complete process. You have the requirement, then from the requirement, you write the code, uh, you design, you make a design. From the design, you write a code. Then that code has to be tested. Okay, then the code has to be reviewed that Okay, uh, people are writing a proper code. They are writing clean code. Is the code performing to the best? The memory management of the code is proper. All these things are required to be reviewed and tested. So one is the code review and then there is a test. Okay, most of the uh, software development process have manual testing. Okay, but DevOps brings in automated testing. So what DevOps does is, DevOps helps you to automate each phase of the cycle, each phase of the operational cycle. Okay, so it will set up some kind of a process, an automated process for gathering the requirements. Okay, on a, in an agile manner. So agile is part of DevOps. So in an agile manner, it will have some way of the project manager management process possible so that it can gather the requirements uh, properly and then mark that these requirements have been developed based on what code has been shipped. Okay, to ship the code, you need the CI CD pipeline, continuous integration and continuous delivery. Okay, continuous integration is when you are writing code, uh, your code is what? Code is, uh, is number of libraries. Correct number of different files which are there, which make one software. So there will be different files. And if you change one file, maybe that file impacts so many other files. So you need to integrate this file in the final code, in the final version of the code, where you have to make sure that this file is not causing a problem to the existing files, to things that have not changed. Okay, so that that is taken care in the integration. Okay, but using DevOps, you are going to automate this integration. So there is a continuous integration and then there is a continuous delivery. Now you have developed the code, you have integrated the code, you have tested the entire code using automated test. Again, automated automation testing is part of DevOps. Okay, so you have tested the entire code. Okay, now everything is fine. This release is ready for deployment to the main server. So for example, just imagine uh, if you are a software programmer in Netflix. Okay, now Netflix website cannot be closed every one hour to upload. Correct, which means there has to be an automated process by which that the server gets automatically refreshed the the code, the final release of the code, whatever is happening is released to the final server of Netflix, okay, continuously through continuous delivery. Okay, uh, companies like Netflix, Amazon, Facebook, they are using this entire DevOps system, DevOps process to uh, manage updating features on daily basis. There will be like hundreds of code changes happening simultaneously every day on these products correct and all this is possible because of devops 
cloud computing is possible because of devops okay because uh, devops came into picture because of cloud computing uh, cloud gave us a possibility of building massive uh, massive systems which can be uh, deployed anywhere in the world which can be accessed from anywhere in the world uh, the number of users who can use like for example just imagine facebook uh, is used by 3. Point, i think maybe 3.5 billion people okay half of the world uses facebook so just imagine uh, how many people are accessing this so what kind of infrastructure and everything is required to manage that infrastructure okay all the so so one is you need cloud computing to develop the application itself so when you talk about cloud computing it's nothing but web web development using the internet cloud computing does not mean anything else but building an application which you can access using an internet correct so it requires cloud computing and to manage this entire infrastructure which will keep the 99.99% have you ever heard that facebook went down rarely do we hear such things right so it's a 99.99% upside which means what who's managing all this so these devops processes automated processes manage processes are managing this so as a fresher if you get an opportunity to get, get into cloud computing or devops it's a best thing because everything is going to be cloud computing in the few years we are st still not 100% cloud we may be uh, so so any new company every new company is starting with a cloud infrastructure but there are so many legacy companies there are so many legacy applications which are still lying on some server which is not accessible remotely through the cloud okay or it is accessible but it is not publicly accessible it is only accessible in the in the virtual private network of that company okay so cloud computing is going to be very important devops is going to be equally important and as a fresher if you are getting into this then you are on the right track you are on the best track okay now the only thing you need to do is you need to become a master of whatever projects you do on these technologies uh, so that it helps you further okay uh, so akriti uh, you are asking me the same question is cloud computing or devops the right career for freshers after mca of course the, your degree does not matter okay degree does not matter uh, in which technology you work on okay uh, it's a good technology to work on and it is a good place to be so subscribe to this channel before you go like this video if you have liked what i have discussed so far in the video okay share this video with your friends so that we can grow as much as possible uh, thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next live